It's a heavy metal maroon door of slam shot. It's a moment of clarity. Expecting my mother always to be. I can remember when I was 20 years old and I was riding on the ice cream truck. And we called it the ice cream truck because it was freezing cold, it was still, and it looked like an ice cream truck. And I was looking out this pinhole window and I saw the largest gun tower I had ever seen. It had guards on it with guns. And all I could think was, oh my God. We had arrived and we had to go through the seven gates of hell. And we had to wait in this room before we got to the last two gates. And all I could hear was yelling and screaming and arguing. And I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. And when the guards came and got us, and we had to go escorted down this hallway, I waddled like a penguin with shackles and handcuffs on. The first gate opened up, and the guard said, step in. And I stepped in. And I seen the biggest wall of keys I had ever seen. And I was like, what do they need all these keys for? That gate closed. The next gate opened up. Step out. I stepped out, and that gate closed. And across the hallway were canine dogs barking, woof, 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 woof. And I was like, just looking at the guards with black uniforms on. And the guard said to me, welcome to Summers. And all I could think was, what have I done? I did about seven years, expecting my mother always to be here. And she died a year and two months later. Also, my son's mother, my fiance. I came back with a slew of new charges and violations. They kept me there for about the next 10 years. I was discharged in 2007. But I can remember that last year, I got a letter from my daughter asking me, why would you go back to the things that could get you killed? Don't you love me? I was crushed. I rushed to the showers. I put my hand up on the wall and leaned forward and started crying. At that point, I knew I wanted to change and continue to change. So I went to college. I became a Phi Kappa. I became a recovery coach. Through shortcomings and mistakes. But my favorite question today to ask someone is how can I help you with your recovery?